Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you all how to draw a plague doctor. I start off with a banana shaped curved beak of the mask and now I'm drawing the glasses and hat. As usual, we start off by drawing the shapes and outlines lightly with a pencil. I use a 2B pencil as I can easily erase any mistakes if I make any. Draw a round circle for the eye and another circle around that. Now we're drawing the hat, try to make it look like a curved rectangle. Draw curved lines at the back of the head which are folds in the material. This will form the cloak which the plague doctor is wearing. For his button, draw an oval and an oval around that. Now we start drawing his cape. You can draw small curved lines. This adds details to the Plague Doctor's cloak. Now that we've done the general outline of the Plague Doctor, it's time to start the next step in the process and begin adding more details and shading. For the beak, draw four circles, enveloped by a circle around each of them. I thought you might enjoy an interesting fact about these plague doctors. So I found out that they wore their bird beak to ward off bad air and they filled the beak with sweet smells like dried flowers, herbs and spices as they believed this would stop them from getting infected by the Black Death. I draw a small circle as a button of the hat. Here I draw multiple parallel straight lines to show in the top of the hat. This technique is called hatching.
Now that we've done the basic shading, it's time to move on to the third step. Grab a black marker. I fill in the centre of the eye and darker parts of the hat with a black marker. I get a pen and trace the outline of the drawing. Now I'm drawing little circles around the eyeglass for those finer details. A shading technique with ink is doing multiple dots. The dots are in a random pattern and the basic concept is the darker you want the area to be, the more dots you do. In lighter areas, you do less dots. There are more shading techniques with pen than just doing multiple dots. Since I know this area will be a bit darker than the rest, I draw multiple straight parallel lines. Right here I do a shading technique called cross hatching, which is drawing multiple parallel lines that go in one direction and another set of multiple lines that go in another direction. Some artists decide to stick with multiple dots or line work when it comes to shading. I decide to do both, but it's down to personal preference. If you're finding this a little too fast and would like to see things done a little slower and with more detail, make sure to check out my Draw With Me video.
Drawing multiple dots is called the stippling technique. It can be time consuming but adds fine details and realism to any artwork. As you can see, I'm changing between pens. I found that a thicker pen for the darker parts and a thinner pen for the lighter areas was easier, as well as doing dots in narrow areas of the drawing. As we're in a current pandemic, I thought it'd be fitting to draw a plague doctor. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the video and what else you would like me to draw in the future. I emphasize the darker parts by doing some extra shading with a 2B pencil. I hope you found this drawing tutorial helpful, and I'll see you in the future. Thanks guys for watching, if you like this make sure to check out my other videos and to like and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to comment down below.